Okay, I'm back. I just um, got that finished up, finished um, reshaping it, and I got the middle line back. So, from the middle line, I want to do this. I want to have one pixel, then another pixel. Then we want to do that, that. And you want one pixel going into the eye. So, this is how I want to do the eye. And we want to do the exact same on the other side. Oh, it's starting to look a bit like a um, jack o' lantern, which is fairly fitting because um, Halloween's not long gone. Yellow eyes. And his body is some sort of people. I'll do that later. Um, now we want to do the arms. So this hopefully won't be too hard. We go from here. So. Go down. Oh wait, no, we want to build the base first, don't we? A doy. Anyway. So the base is just basically a like pyramid triangle thing, so does it go all the way down to the down to the yes it does so we want to do it like this. Carefully. Sorry if I get a bit quiet while I'm doing these because it does require a good bit of concentration. And I liked this Pokemon so much, I didn't even realise it was a 5th gen Pokemon. For the longest time I always thought it was a 4th gen Pokemon because 4th gen is my favourite gen as I have stated in the past. Oh, that doesn't look quite right, does it? Hmm. Better idea. Oh no. Here we go. We just. Maybe we could just have it like this. No. I think it looks better like that. Because you can't exactly do curved edges with. Actually, no, yeah, I'm gonna keep it like that. Well, not exactly like that, but I'm gonna. Oh, control V. Uh, I'm gonna just give it. Gonna make it go two and one, two, then one. There you go. That looks a lot better. And then we want the arm to come out of it. So we want them to come down like that. Actually, um, Z. To make them look a bit thicker, I'm just going to have them. Just going to do a two. Like that. Wait, no, they don't go down, they go, hmm, stupid, stupid, stupid. Actually, 
There we go. Um, let's have one of these. Hmm. Mm hmm.